On today's show, we're going to be hunting hogs in Texas. First near Brady and then up near Abilene. Any day in the woods with a firearm in your hand is better than a, a day behind the desk. Jerry, if it looks like I'm going to get gored, put it around in me, would you? <laughs> I was thinking if they come at this, I'm going to trip you. <laughs> How can you have all these hills without valleys, huh? Nice shot. Good bird. Oh, ho, ho. look at that now. I want you to come out in your loincloth and me with a rifle. I'll think it's a white bear. In the Woods with Ron and Jerry is brought to you by Envirologic of Alabama. Products that make sense for you and your environment. By Landis International. There is no substitute for perfection. By NPP Incorporated, flying Ron and Jerry to the next day in the woods. By the 500 Magnum Energy Bar, power for now, power for later. And by Karma LLC, an elevated state of awareness. In today's episode, we're going to go to Texas and do some hog hunting. We're going to, uh, first to Dan Gandy's place. Dan's an old friend of mine. Uh, he was a football coach in Texas, a well-known football coach, won a state championship in the largest class several years ago, coach of the year and all that. Now he's a real estate broker. I bought a piece of property from him several years ago, and we became good friends. We've gone to his place, which is adjacent to the property I used to own, and it's full of hogs, and it's going to be a great hunt. Let's get down to Brady, Texas, and see if we can kill some hogs. Well, Dan's looking forward to us being there. All right, what's the plan, Ron, for attacking these hogs? Well, I don't know if he's... Uh got them under the same feeders that he's had in the past, but he told us if we could bring ground blinds, that would be good. So my guess is it's somewhere other than where we've hunted before. Well, I think maybe he was thinking also that those stands he has are kind of kind of small for us and a cameraman. Yeah, that's me, me and anything in a stand is crowded, so uh, maybe the ground blinds will help us have a little more room. Well, the last time we went down here, it was later in the season than this, and uh, I remember that uh, I left the car running, the air conditioning on. That's how I hunted. Yeah, well, I didn't have an air conditioner. I felt like Cool Hand Luke in prison when they put him in the little hot box because uh, it was torture. It really was. What's Betty doing in Kentucky? We got five grandkids there. <laughs> yeah, I knew yeah. you do. Yeah, how come you're not there? Well, because she said she didn't want me this time. Oh, okay, all right. That <laughs> explains it. That explains it. That was good. That's good. That good What's day. been going on? We're in McCullough County. Property belongs to Dan Gandy. Dan's seen hogs here. Uh, he knows they're here. They come out every evening. We set up a little pop-up blind about 40 yards from where uh, the hogs will be coming out, and we hope we get an opportunity to take one this afternoon. While it's nice and hot, uh, we're still going to sit it out and see how long it takes. This is the story of my life. If we're hog hunting, we'll see deer and turkeys. If we're turkey hunting, we'll see deer and hogs. And of course, if we're deer hunting, and we're going to see hogs and turkeys. Well, here we are hog hunting, and a really, really nice turkey just went by, and there's a few more right behind her. It should be out in view pretty soon. That's cool. You've got turkeys in the foreground and a deer in the background. Okay, that happened real fast. I saw the hog's legs coming through the trees. He came out the other side of the feeder, stopped in the open. Didn't think he was going to stay there. I took a good shot and hit him in a good spot. It looked like uh, we had good blood coming out. We gave him about 15 minutes. We're going to go take a look because we got almost two more hours of daylight. We find him, we get back in the blind and see if we can get another one. All right, we took about a 75-yard shot. I know we're hitting good. I'm, we're expecting to find some good blood, so we're getting up here. We're going to look for it. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here's some blood right here. Now he's hit good. He's hit good. He's bleeding good right through here. Of course, they always go in the thickest part. You probably need to go around this. Look back on that tree, you can see a big chunk of blood on that bottom limb back there. Big chunk of lung, it looks like. Something. Let's go around, see if we can't uh, pick it up on the other side. He went right in through here. There, there he is, right through these bushes. There he is, there he is. Let's make sure he's gone. I'm pretty sure he's not going anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Looks like a good shot, looks like a heart shot. And he's done. He's got some pretty good tusks there. That could hurt, that could hurt a person. Well, this one ain't gonna be hurting anybody. We're gonna eat him. Uh, we're gonna make a jambalaya and have some friends over. Pass a good time. Well, the sun has just dropped below the horizon here in Brady, Texas. We've had a pretty good afternoon. We saw a bunch of hogs at 5.30. Chose not to shoot them. Absolutely positive they'd be coming back a little bit later. Well, so much for my planning. Uh, the hogs still haven't come back, but we still have 15, 20 minutes or so. However, we did have a couple of really great gobblers, lots of hens walking around by us. Had a deer family come by. All, a lot of these walking within a few yards of the blind. We've just had a really pleasant afternoon. If a hog comes by and we can harvest that, it'll close it out perfectly. But if it doesn't, hey, that's okay. Jerry shot a little bit earlier and I'm sure that he's got one. And I wouldn't mind going to bed tonight without having to dress a hog. It's hard to believe with as many hogs as Dan has got that I didn't get a shot on one. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes, so we're going to come back to Texas and try it again. We're at the Baton Rouge Airport. We're waiting on Ron. He called to tell us he'd be here at about 11.15, and it's just about that time now, so we expect to see him land any minute. We're headed out to West Texas. We're going after turkeys and hogs this trip, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. The weather looks like it's going to be great for both the flight and the hunt, so... As soon as Ron touches down, we're going to load our things up, get in the plane, and get out there. Oh, look at a little rain cloud coming. That's him. Got the dust off of it here. Yeah, it did. And one, little, one little cloud. Huh? It was just one little cloud. Can't... Well, no, there's a whole lot of clouds. No, the, the last one, no, the last one. There's just... a few of them out here, here and about. Yeah. Air 33, Lima, Office Clear to Echo 30, Ballinger, Radar Vectors, Alexandria, 3000, 220, and 10, 26.5, departure 4075 on the squawk. We got to Ron's and we checked the guns just to make sure everything was ready for the hogs in Abilene. Fire in the hall. I think you rang the bell. If we're able to find that hog tomorrow, I'll be able to hit it with that uh, you hit it pretty side good that time. Yeah. 150 yards. Next morning we loaded up and headed up to Abilene to hunt at Dos Plumas Ranch with Alan and Lori Williams. I really liked Alan. He seems like a nice guy. He's fella. a nice guy. Uh, we're at Dos Plumas Ranch. It's a little bit on the west side of Abilene, a little north of the interstate. And uh, we're going to be hunting hogs this morning. Uh, Alan has a good herd of hogs here, and he said to have at it. It's going to be, uh, I've uh, done a lot of hog hunting so far this year, and I haven't had much success. So hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit better this morning. I got, I good, get, good I got first shot. You got first I got shot, first got shot on hogs. Feeling. I got a good feeling about it, so I think you're going to get a nice hog to start the day, and then we're going to we're going to wrap it up from there. Okay, let's uh, let's get on back. He said we just we've got about a square mile on the property right. here, we'll so we ought to be able room. to. We got this all to ourselves, and uh, he said there's a good number of hogs in here. We need to see a couple of them. Yep, I only need to see one. One, okay, let's go do it. Sure, been a lot of animal traffic on this road. Thanks. Looks like those African safaris the way that mm -hmm. move. 
Pueblo. Sure is pretty. There you go, pig, pig, pig. Well, I'm not going to take a running shot. Stop your little sandwich. There's big ones in there. Look at that. <laughs> They're gone. I think that's all of them. Well, I, I called it right, didn't I? Yeah, we were set up. I saw, man, that one in big front. Big old sow, isn't it? <laughs> big, old, big old sow out in the middle of this wheat field with all of her kids, probably just eating their fill. They just ate four bushels of wheat. What we're going to do uh, this afternoon is we're going to set up a portable blind right here uh, in this intersection. And they've put a lot of hog bait out down down this road and uh, we're going to concentrate looking down uh, that direction. The wind is absolutely perfect. It's coming out of uh, up over the feed so we'll be uh, downwind of the animals. Uh, at this point bend over put your head between your legs and kiss your no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. You see that old log way down there? Uh -huh, that's what I... I'm clear all the way to that log. Okay that's good. I just want to make sure that muzzle's outside the tent. <laughs> For all of our sake. Okay, we got the blind set up. It didn't look like a Three Stooges movie. Uh, we were afraid it was. But first time we set this blind up. But we got a good setup here. We, uh, we're out of the wind. We got a, a feed line of hog feed out here. It's some uh, moldy corn that uh, the owner got from... Uh, an elevator. We're gonna sit here and let the hog smell it. When they come to it, uh, Ron's gonna get a chance at a hog, and then I'm gonna take a second shot. What do you think, Ron? I think that's a, I think that's the plan. I feel bad about getting first shot, but nah, you've think, already got that monster on the ground me, this year. You've let me have enough first shots this year. Your turn. We're keeping a sharp eye out for game. I'm looking left and right. Straight ahead. Brian's watching his eyelids from the inside. We ought to see some of this stuff on him. Brian went back to the truck. I think he went to get something to eat or drink. I sure hope a hog didn't come out now. I'd have to shoot it for him. I sure hope a hog comes out. As the temperatures climbed into the 90s, and the air was still, and we were being quiet, I drifted off into Never Never Land. Black was looking at the road right now. I see his tail with him. How far is he this far from the log? See this side of the log? Yeah. Now you see the rock in the road? Oh, I've got the black one. There's the black one. Yeah. There's three. There's three. On the right. That's, there's three on the right. Be patient. Oh, I should I get past the back? Here, bring your chair I'm all right. I'm all right. Bring your chair up. Here. I'm all right. Let them come out in the road. Then maybe they'll come this way. If there's three starting. I'm something scared them. They all ran back in the woods. That's all right. They will be back. We didn't scare them. Here they come, here they come. They're coming back. Black one coming out now. There comes another black one. If they're coming. 
and, and milling around on the right. Yeah, I sure wish they'd come out on the road. They don't come on the road. Once they get onto that spoiled corn, they'll come this way. That was the wrong one. He's coming up the road. That's a ham sandwich. Let's do it this way. Tell me what you want to do. Let's do it this way. Let's do it. I'll tell you which one I'm going to shoot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to say fire one, fire two, fire three, and on three I'm going to shoot. Mm -hmm. And then you go as quickly after that as possible. Okay? I might go with you. Closed captioning for this program has been brought to you by EnviroLogic of Alabama. Products that make sense. Fire one, fire two, fire three, and on three I'm going to shoot. Mm -hmm. And then you go as quickly after that as possible. Okay. I might go with you. Yeah, well, if I got a shot. Yeah. They, they, went, they went across, all the little ham sandwiches went across. You see any more? Left. Which one are you going to shoot, Ron? See, the, the side on the left is wet. I'm going to shoot her. Up in the bushes. Which one are you going to shoot? Don't shoot the sow, she's wet. Make a count, let's go. I'm going to have to pick a little one, I guess. I can hold it all day. Yeah. I'm going to shoot one on the right hand side. Okay. Bar one, bar two, bar three. We both shot at the same time. We got hogs down. That one's hit. We hit at least three of them. We fired simultaneous. I didn't hear but one shot. Congratulations, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great, let's see what we got. We know we got a couple of hogs down and a couple wounded. Got him that time. We've been uh, hunting hard for hogs all day, and uh, it's getting a little bit late in the day. We had a uh, sow come out with all different sizes of uh, youngsters with her, and we don't shoot wet sows. No. On, and so uh, we, uh, Jerry and I each uh, shot in the sink, and we each uh, hit what we were aiming at, and we took out three on the side as well, and we've gotten them all up. We had some collateral damage. We had on the video, we saw which way they went. We walked them down, found all five of the ones that were hit, so we didn't lose anything. But uh, for, for two shots at the same time, that's not bad. That's yeah, you know, I only heard the one shot. I yeah. mean, we did fire one, fire two, fire three, and I just heard one shot, and there were pigs going everywhere. <laughs> well, it was a successful fo uh, hog hunt here at uh, Dos Plumas. We had a good time. Uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us tonight. Even though they're small, they take time to clean. You betcha. But we'll get them. Congratulations, we'll get them. Jerry. You we too. got her done. Good job. And you got the eyes, man. I mean, we were all we were all looking the other direction, and you picked them up. That's well, that's the okay. Second time this year you've done that. That's why we're all here to get them. So we got a we got a good hunt here. So let's uh, let's get back and get them cleaned up and get out of here before it gets dark. Know. And we got him. We got all the the two that went off to the right. We got, and three were dead in the road when we got there. That one was okay. Yeah, that one was okay. It's good. Thank you, sir. We sure yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. We had a good time and uh, glad it worked out. And yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that hog hunting was great. You know, it all happened so fast.
You know, you're sitting there and you, 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 you're <laughs> talking and you're daydreaming and you're talking about who's going to run for president and all of a sudden hogs are all in front of you, they're on the side of you. It's amazing the way that if you plan on them coming this direction, they're going to yeah, be coming from that direction. We're sitting down looking at a road, a Sendero-like road, full of old molded corn, uh, fermented corn that the hogs eat, and here they come from this side, nothing in the road whatsoever. That's pretty fantastic to shoot two times and get five hogs. <laughs> yeah, that was. That really was. That, uh, that was unbelievable. Well, uh, we hope to see you folks next time on In the Woods. With Ron and Jerry. In the Woods with Ron and Jerry is brought to you by Envirologic of Alabama. Products that make sense for you and your environment. By Landis International. There is no substitute for perfection. By NPP Incorporated. Flying Ron and Jerry to the next day in the woods. By the 500 Magnum Energy Bar. Power for now, power for later. And by Karma LLC, an elevated state of awareness. I don't know what to tell you. Ty went in after a big hog I shot. I heard some screaming. I think it was Ty. And I looked up, and I swear to God, about a thousand mosquitoes had Ty by the back of the neck, and they were taking him away from the hogs. I don't know how to get out of here. He's got the keys to the truck in his pocket. My phone won't get a signal here. I'm fixing to go sit by those decoys and hope they scare the hogs off when they come back out here because I'm a nervous wreck. I'm out of here.